Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. The KJV2. You know, I used to use this kind of as my primary Bible. Went through a period or stage because I was so enthralled with J.P. Green, Sovereign Grace Publishers, and how they would, um, he would, he still, I guess that's the definitive uh, Hebrew and Greek textus receptus, so to speak, uh, interlinear that's out there. So I used to get his interlinear and read it and then read the KJV2 in the margins. I've since gone back to just being a good KJV guy. A lot of people like the KJV ER as well, the KJV Easy Read. But J.P. Green, you know, simultaneous with the books True and False and Counterfeit and Genuine and all of this, really brought a new uh, appreciation for people in the King James. So he says this, this is J.P. Green, here are the gains of the King James 2 version. So a lot of people, they ask, well, if I just can't read a King James, what would you recommend? Well, this is something that would be very close. A strong effort has been made to keep all the majesty, beauty, and glory that is inherent in God's word, which even its enemies admit were brilliantly incorporated in the original King James version. The Bible has been handled reverently since we believe without any reservation the Bible is completely inerrant, that had pure beginnings, and that it also has special providential uh, preservation by the divine author through all these centuries. As we worked, we feared God, not man. The pre-study of textual criticism encompassing more than 1,000 hours convinced us that the best text was that used by Tyndale and the KJV scholars. And I've done reviews of his books on, on unholy hands, on God's holy word, and they are amazing the amount of information he's got in there. This Bible is translated word for word in an attempt to give a literal rendition of each and every one of God's words. And really, probably too much to read here of the 12 things. Now, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I would say the proper translation, like the King James, is heaven. And it, it's shocking to me sometimes that people can't see that because he created the magisterial heavens where he dwells, and then later in chapter one, the atmospheric and the astronomical heavens. Just letting you see what's in here. So, you know, it's not real big print, it's just your basic hardback book, probably eight and a half by five and a half, somewhere in that neighborhood. And so you can pick these up. I just noticed it said $10. I think I actually picked this one up at Baker Christian Book House. And they give the IBC students just a little bit of a discount. So I probably got it for 20% off. It's not red letter, anything like that. But it is fascinating. And you might want to do your own comparisons with this. Let's see what it, has, see what it says about like 1 Corinthians 11. 1 Corinthians 11. Um, be imitators of me, even as I also am of Christ. Now, brothers, I praise you that you've remembered me in all things, holding first the teachings just as I taught them to you. But I want you to know that Christ is the head of every man, but the woman is head of the but the woman's head is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Every man who prays or prophesies with his with anything on his head puts his head to shame. Every woman who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered puts her head to shame, for it is one the same as if her head had been shaved. For if a woman is not covered, let her also have her hair cut off. But if it's a shameful for a woman to have her hair cut off or to be shaven, let her be covered. So there's obviously substantial differences. Let's see what Acts 2.38 says here. And... Uh, Acts 2.38 says this, But Peter said to them, Every one of you must repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So instead of Holy Ghost. So here it is. It's put out by AP&A. Who is AP&A? Associated Publishers and Authors, Byron Center, Michigan. This is actually a first edition, 1971. So the KJV2... J.P. Green, fascinating. I may have done a review on a different edition of this sometime in the past. But uh, God bless. I'll talk with you later in Jesus' name.